gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm, Very Vixen here, back again with another video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment in the down there, and if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested, or if you would rather, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description, but if you do that, please include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. Um, and if you haven't bought from me before, include your name, address, PayPal, email, and YouTube name. That way, I can match up your names, get your items invoiced, and get them out to you as soon as possible. I have changed tactics. Uh, I'm probably still going to uh, invoice on the 1st and the 15th. Um, watch my previous video for details on what has changed. Uh, and then without further ado, let's get into it. Um, got some more stuff, sorting some more stuff. Stuff, stuffity stuff. Ooh, looks like I got a bunch of brooches in here. Or, ooh. No, we have a, a red, um, looks like a chandelier crystal. That would make a nice centerpiece on something. That's a slobanaka. Real heavy. Real heavy. It's, I'm pretty sure it's Austrian crystal. Not just glass. If it was glass, it would be a lot less heavy. It may even be leaded glass. But it doesn't quite have the sparkle of leaded. So, yeah, we're going to do this one for five. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there's a lot of bro brooches in here. This one is uh, double circle, concentric. These are a little bit spread out, and these are... Oh, that, that is really nice. I know you that one. That's really nice. Wait, let me get it closed to make sure everything works. Yes, everything works. Gold tone, really different. We'll do that one for four. This is a pair of uh, <laughs> very much 80s earrings. Oh, and by the way, I'm dropping this video at 3 o'clock when my normal live would be uh, because today is Hub's birthday. So we're doing birthday things instead of uh, taking two hours to do live. Um, we're going to have a big, nice big dinner and... All kinds of fun stuff. Going to do these for two. So, there won't be a live today. And there will not be later. There will not be another um, recorded video. What in the heck? Oh, hey, this is from Frozen. This is Anna. Anna from Frozen. If you did not watch the last video, uh, if you get to $50 on your order... <clears throat> you can no longer claim items in my videos until the uh, invoice is paid. But after you pay, I could still hold on to it for you until there's enough for, you know, to make the shipping worth it. So um, there will probably be a lot of uh, emails back and forth until we get settled on the new, um, the new way of doing things. Um, yeah, this has Anna... It's got little blue flowers. It's got pink. And these look like like Christmas. You know the way Christmas balls look. It's got some rhinestones. It's got a snowflake, of course. Don't know who that little snowman. But it's not. What's his name? That's funny. It has a son for a, of what reason. I don't know. <laughs> and it's child sized. Uh, so we'll do that for three. And always pull it apart. Ooh, glass. Ooh, look, it matches my it matches my sweater. It is glass, faceted, teal with clear. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna do that one since it's all crystal beads. It's gonna be six. Six dollars, six dollars. What is this? This is a New Year coin, I think. 
Year of the Monkey. Year of the Monkey. If you were born in the Year of the Monkey, I'll give you that. What is that? 19... 1961. It says 61 right here. Interesting. You can have that if you want it. Here's a cute little band with rhinestones. It's got some wear on it. Dollar. This is another interesting brooch. Oh, it has a name on it. Monet. This is a Monet brooch. If I can get it to focus, you can see the name is right there. I'm going to do that one for five. Do, 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 do. These are copper. And dangly, dangly copper. Very nice. With uh, like a yellow citrine color. Citrine and copper. They go nice together, I think. They need a bit of a scrub. It looks like somebody um, put some uh, like cleaner on them and didn't get it all off. So they just need a, a wash with some soap and water and a little bit of a toothbrush. And they'll be good to go. We're going to do those for three, two, two. We'll do them for two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I don't know. Mm. This is Mother of Pearl. And um, it feels really heavy. Let's do the thing. You want to do the thing? Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think this part is, nope, that's like a copper over, a silver over copper, but the beads seem like they would be, if I could just get it to where I could scratch them. <laughs> that looks like silver to me. So that would be the little... Nope. Hmm. Weird. Nope. None of it is. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. So this one is Mother of Pearl and Silver Plate. Um. There we go. It's eight and a half inches. That's a nice length. I'm going to do that one for four. Here's one of those. One dollar. Ooh, this is a nice old cloisonne. It's a little danged on the inside right here. It's one of those ones and right here. It's one of those ones with the blue on the interior. Very nice. A little bit dinged up. We'll do it for two. This one says Veil Art. P. Veil Art. Interesting. Um, I don't know who that is. Let's check and see. Just for funsies. That's brass? Brass? Or... Mm -hmm. I don't think it's brass. 10 carat? What? So it's gold filled, apparently. Unless... Yeah. Gold filled. Or white gold, either way. Why is it not marked then? Oh, it is marked. Mexico. Huh? Why is it? Oh, okay. It finally disappeared. That's strange. That's really strange. Okay, so it's alpaca, basically.
Mexican silver. I don't know what this means, but we'll do that for five. <laughs> Got a couple more that are, I think these are Mexican too. Sometimes it's hard to find the uh, mark on these braided ones. Hmm. Here's a mark on this one. It says Mexico. Going to say alpaca again. Let's see. Just to make sure. Yeah. Yep, yep. Alpaca. Five for that and five for this. Okay. This one is Chinese. Jade and jadeite. With um, yellow jade, carnelian. That's neat, and it's woven pretty. And it's got that kind of a clasp on it. You open it up, and then you tighten it down. And it works perfectly. It's not knotted up or anything. That's really pretty. That's really nice. I like it. And it's got real stones in it, so we're going to do that one for seven. This is red jasper. And it's a little pendant. And I'll do it for five. Ooh, look at you. This is a pendant, and it is a resin Cameo with some rhinestones and some glass cabs. Eh, we'll do that one for two. Kind of bleh. <laughs> He's made of plastic. He's out of a bubble gum machine. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> He's very Halloween-y. This is beautiful. It is gold and amethyst, and I'll do it for 10. Amethyst druzy. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's an old one. So pretty. What else have we got? There's some more sparkly stuff in here. Sparkles. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkle. What in the heck? This one is kind of a cluster fluck. Yeah. Yeah. What? How many things are hanging off of here? That's weird. I don't think this one goes on there, this silver one. Alright, this might end up being uh, something i got to untangle. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll get back to you. If you want the little guy with the skull, I'll give him to you. He's plastic. Just let me know. Let me know. Ooh, look. It's a vintage poodle. Tiny little vintage poodle. And there's a name. And the name says... Oh, it says made in Korea, which means it's from the 60s. It's from the 60s. I'm going to do him for five. He's in great shape. Alright, we got a bunch of little stuff here. Oh, that's pretty. Little CZ ring. Steel. Oh, that's pretty. That's a size 5, I'm going to say. Size 5. Yep, size 5. Because my little finger is a 4. And my ring finger is a 6. So, I'm pretty sure. Yep. 
because it's too big on this one and too small on that one. <laughs> but that's gorgeous. It's really and it's really in great shape too. There's no wear on it at all. So if you have tiny fingers, this is a really nice one. Beautious. We'll do that one for five. And here's some interesting, such interesting things. This is an S on blue porcelain, and it looks like Limoges, but it's not. It's Greenwich something. Greenwich? Weissich. Geis, Geis, Geisrich. Oh, I can't read it. Can't read it. It's got like a very nice mark on it, and I don't know. Needs a wash. Needs a wash. It's very cute, though. To S. We'll do that one for three. Here's some real pearls on a stretch. Yeah, these are the real deal. So we'll do that for six. Here's another one. This one has a nice clasp on it. Really nice. Okay, let's see what we got as far as... Ooh, there's a mark. Silver. So the clasp on this one is Vermeil. All right, so that's real pearls in Vermeil. <clears throat> Do that one for 10. And it is eight and a half. Real nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, this one's nice. It's a little dancing girl. And she has all of her parts. She has her pearly face, which is always missing. She's got all of her purple sparkles on her dress. And she still has the enamel on her feet. That is a really nice vintage piece. <clears throat> I think it came with a dancing man, but... Uh, we only have her. We're going to do her for five. She'll probably be more than that, but eh, you know. Eh, you know. Here's another fun brooch. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, darn. It's very modernist, and it had a, another... Another something here in another color. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. If you want that one, I'll give it to you for a dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> one Dalmatian. Look. Look at that. It says Kim on it. Kim Julius. Kim, Kim, Kim. Oh, where's the Kims at? Disney. Do that for three. One for each pup. <laughs> Let me dump this out. There's a bunch of stuff in here. It's all little stuff. There we go. Move that over there. Ooh, he's nice. Ganesha. In brass, he's very heavy. Ooh, I like him. Ganesh. We'll do him for four. Here's a little Valentine brooch. We'll do that one for three. Oh, hey, a necklace. <laughs> Imagine it. This is shades of orange, or not shades, it's shades of orange with some gold tone 
discs with uh, little hammer marks. Machine hammered, of course. Not hand hammered. There we go. It's pretty long. I'm gonna say eh, 20 inches, maybe. 20 inches. I was right. 20 inches. All right. I'll do that one for two. This one's interesting. Petrified wood. What are you doing here, boy? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Hi. Why do you make that honking noise for? Uh oh, no, you can't have my socks. Leave them there. Leave them there. Leave them there. Mine. Can't have. No. No. You be good. She's so pretty. My dog. My dog. I love my dog. This is petrified wood. It's awesome. And it's going to be 12. Because you can't find that very often. This is all faux. Faux, faux, faux. Faux, faux. It's still got nice color, though. Not, not bad for a faux ring. I mean... It might be a uh, dragon's blood or breath. I don't know because the ring is in really nice shape. It's real heavy gold electroplate looks like. I'll do that for three. <gasps> Look, it's another airplane. This one is static. It does not. The. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, but the wing moves. That's crazy. I don't know if he's broke or what. But it's got like a safety pin looking thing on the back. He's really kind of cool. I'll do that for two because it's kind of a little bit loose there. Cute though. And then we have, um, what? I don't even know. Can't read it. Can't read it. And there's this one. Reaching out. PTA. Oh, man. Look at these. These are awesome. They're jade cufflinks. Mid-century jade cufflinks. Gold tone. No name on them. Wait, is there a name on them? Yeah, there's a mark inside. Inside the, uh, in here. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. I don't know. Let me magnify that sucker. It's a D with a star inside it. Or a fleur de lis. Tell me these aren't Dior. I don't know the mark. I'm not going to say it's Dior, but it's a D with a fleur de lis in the middle. Um, I'm going to look these up. If you would like them, please speak up. Uh, send me an email, um, and then we can talk about what the price is going to be, because I have to look them up. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice for a, a gift for someone. This is a, an Asian... No, not Asian. Carrying... Someone carrying the Christ child on their shoulder. So it might be Joseph. Yeah, because he doesn't have the... Uh, the um, deif deified uh, halo thing that they usually denote um, divine with. He's not divine, but he is. That's crazy. That's really neat. It's not silver, but it's really freaking cool. We'll do that one for f four, I guess. 
All right, we have a big old star on a chain. That's a nice one. It's in decent shape. Seven and three quarters. We'll do that for three. Three. These are faux. A dollar. Um, here's some more of these. I don't know what any of them say. They're all different. Um, ORT, O-R-T, 1977. So, if you know what that is. More power to you. I don't. Um, that, and then a little copper that. And then, is there anything else we can throw in there? Not really. Okay, this. Yes, we don't want that. I'll do all of these for a dollar. Or a dollar. And then we'll do that. And this. And there's a couple of steel rings. A couple of them. Whatever this is. So this is a Conestoga wagon air race. There's an air race. We'll put that with this. All right, and then we have brass with cat's eye and yay coffee. Thank you, honey. Well, I don't think the ring has coffee. No, the ring doesn't have coffee. Well, it is kind of coffee colored. It has like a cognac glass piece in it, and then cat's eye and it's brass and we'll do that one for two um yeah this for a dollar this for a dollar uh, i need i need a i need a need a need a need a need a need i need a box or a bag i need a bag i need a little bag so we'll steal it from here and put it in here that is a dollar. It's got a real leaf with that's dipped in the uh, gold. And then there's this is the last item out of that batch. And it is really interesting. It is pottery and it says jewelry uh, on the back. And I don't know how it works. I'm not sure. That's very strange. It's a pendant, maybe? I don't know, but it's made of pottery. It's really cool looking. But we'll do that for two. Since I can't quite figure out how it works. <laughs> Alrighty. That is going to be the end of that. for a dollar two okay i would like to thank you all for coming remember that i love each and every one of you and be yourself because everyone else is taken Bye bye